cut a guy's throat on the pull-up bar, and he almost died, and they charged me with attempt murder. And I sat in the hole for 27 months straight fighting the case. They didn't have a knife or anything, so they dropped it to a serious assault with intent to injure. Gave me an extra, fi I think it was 15 months, 17 months, something like that. All right, good afternoon. This is State of Florida versus Stephen Testa with multiple cases before the court. Um, how long did I do in prison? I did 14 years, 10 on my first bit, 4 on my second bit. I was an insane gangster. How long I had been gang banging was about 11, 12 years. I get the guy had told on uh, on somebody that was affiliated with me. So, you know, guys were basically supposed to take care of it, and they didn't. So I befriended the guy actually for about two weeks, kicked it, cooked up with him, and everything. And then, you know, it was winter time, so. I ended up going out through a walkway, coming in the door, and you really can't see when it's snowing like that, and there's no camera under the door, and then I hit him in the neck a couple times, in the head and in the side, and he dropped, and that was it. Another one was, oh, I got one. I actually cut a guy's throat on the pull-up bar, and he almost died, and they charged me with attempt murder. And I sat in the hole for 27 months straight fighting the case. They didn't have a knife or anything, so they dropped it to a serious assault with intent to injure. Gave me an extra, fi I think it was 15 months, 17 months, something like that. All right, I was in prison. Um, I did 14 years. I was running the yard as a gang member, and I remember I had put, you know, carried out a hit on a guy and stabbed him like probably 12, 13 times to get him off the yard. And then um, it was crazy because this was on a Friday. Two days later, or a Thursday, they had church on Saturday. I went to church, and I can't explain it, but I fell to my knees, and I gave my life to God, and I haven't been the same since. So um, it just shows you it doesn't matter what you've done in your life. I know people think, oh, I'm unsavable or these things. I mean... God can save anybody. Think of the story with Paul and all those things. And you know what I mean? It took me a long time to forgive myself. You're going to deal with guilt and all those things when you turn your life over to God, but eventually he's going to help you work through those things because he's a gracious God, he's merciful, and uh, he will forgive you no matter what, as long as you turn to him. That's it.